What is going on? It's Jay here, back at it again for another tutorial. So today I really want to teach you guys about pan photography. And pan photography is really good to show movement such as cars and bicycles and stuff like that. And you can get that nice blur in the background. So I got my boy Tien behind the camera and he's going to help me shoot. We're in downtown Toronto right now and I'm going to be shooting with the Sony a7 II with the 50mm. The best and easiest place to shoot is at nighttime. And you want to find a place that has a lot of lights and interesting background and you're not going to have a lot of people blocking you away. So we want to find a place that is very clear. Alright, so once you find your location, you want to put your camera onto a tripod or a monopod so you can get a stable shot when you're panning. Once you get better at panning, then you can take it off the tripod and then you can get more creative control. So the next step is that you want to make sure that you are in focus. So you really want to use manual focus over autofocus. So what you're going to need to do is anticipate where your um, object is going to be, whether it's a car or bicycle. So once you know where it is, you're going to lock your focus onto it. So once you find that out, you're going to autofocus onto the car and then switch the tab onto manual focus. Now that you got your camera in focus, we're going to be talking about settings. So the main setting that you're going to be using is the shutter speed. That's what's going to give you that nice blur in the background. So for shutter speed, you're going to be around the ballpark of 120th to 160th, depending on how fast that object is going. Whether it's a car, you'll probably be at maybe 160th, and a bicycle or a person running, it'll be around 120th to 130th. So for right now, it's nighttime. So the aperture that I'm going to be using is going to be very open. It's going to be 2.8 right now. So that's going to let in a lot more light. The ISO that I'm going to be using is around 500 or anything around that. Nothing over 1000 because you want a nice clean shot. You don't want any noise in your shot. All right. So now when you have your settings locked and your focus locked, you're ready to do the most fun part, which is actually sweeping the camera to get that shot. So what you're going to need to do is hold your, hold your tripod steady and hold your hand steady and you're going to do a left to right motion or vice versa, right to left. And while you're moving, you're going to press the shutter and hopefully capture that object in motion. Alright guys, I'm at Yan Dundas now. So I'm going to do a few pan shots just to show you guys what it's like and I'll put the pictures up here for you now. Okay guys, another tip I can give you guys is that you can use burst mode. So if your camera has um, fast shutters, you can definitely increase it. Like for mine, you can see that for me, I'm on high right now. So that's about it. Go out there and shoot. It's all about trial and error. So don't be afraid to make mistakes. And there's no wrong settings and no wrong picture. So just go out there and explore, grab some friends, you know, and get out there. Yo, what's going on guys? So I'm just editing this video right now and I just want to prove a point to what I just said and I want to show you um, the photos that I took that night. So I have to admit, I haven't been taking pan photos for a few months so I was a little rusty but I just want to show you the photos that I took that night and you can see that um, I took around 200 photos and I only got like see look these are all the photos that I took if it would focus thank you these are all the fails like these are all fails they're blurry let me see if I can show you just slightly not in focus 
and I only got like two photos that I'm satisfied with okay so it's this one um, nice Audi going by very sharp and the other one I had was the taxi and I love this one you're gonna you guys are gonna probably see this as the um, as the thumbnail and you can see that even the guy here is uh, looking at me smiling so thumbs up to that so the takeaway message is don't be afraid to make mistakes and just keep on trying and eventually you'll get a good picture let me know if that video helped you and definitely comment down below if you have any questions I'll be sure to answer them lastly Please let me know if you want more of these videos. I'm really enjoying making these, so I want to help you guys. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more. Thank you to Tian. Big shout out to you to help me film this. And follow Tian at Sklervy, S-K-L-E-R-V-Y. Is that what it is? Okay, cool. And definitely follow me on Instagram at G-I-E-C-H-X-N. Peace.